Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Abusha for Mobia, good morning. We didn't hear Konaba. If we didn't come up, I cried. Be now, I'm in a room where I'm lady be a studio. Now, if I'm come up, I'm a video a circulate to media also. If I, I saw a friend of Pentecost, according to news, you know. I am fairly saying, eh, go for the call, who caught at our mokakra. No, I'm coming to your mokakra. It was on Bob or Mapo Sokakra mom. A far home. Namania, the crumb honey baby, and babies are questions be a far home. And maybe because who video no more made a mentias here. Timese, it didn't home come mokakra. I better Michel, I better Michel. I be better no Michel, coffee. As my Michelle, but I said today we have holidays in region here. I have off too. Okay, I better do the buy. No, I better was a good morning. The Kwanaba family, Kofi Asma, or say, or say, oh, they forgot to say, uh, at mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And they're mentioning the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee shall bow. And they did that. Yeah. I see they forgot to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Because they, they should have said in the name of Jesus. Then every knee bows. I better, Michelle Pa. Daniel Kwame Krati. A Kwanaba family greetings. Michelle Pa. And then the other couple of folk are going to be a couple of folk. Because I'm going to be a couple of folk. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, thanks. And you, sir? I'm good. I'm yes. good. Your first time on this platform. Of course. Yeah, we need to discuss uh, a trending video yes. of your people. My people. Uh, of your people yes. uh, in South Africa who went to one of our churches in South Africa. Mm-hmm. And then you saw the video already, but I'll okay. play it so you can know what's going on in the video. All right. And then um, it's been the topic of the day. Okay. If the consulate has issued a letter concerning that particular video, okay, we want to discuss this with you. <laughs> yeah, and then he, and then we know and then we know your 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 point of view concerning this one. Daniel Kwame Kranti Michel from La Airport Michel Pa. And the man the manum team to me wish I brought for Kakra. All right, you try home right, Barney at Waso. So this is Vita Asura Chodo for the and then now for our condom is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. Our toothpaste is from Kwan. 
Udi chuchu usia ema usia eye fita. Na eye fita nonsuno. Na eye enka uboni bia ewe uo numu bia. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain si bia. Unique laser whitening product. Ebe yini nyine efriswa ma wakama wakama wakama. Dia obaya nise utuso. Na udi bie gu. O brush it so. Now dear chuchu usia nisu nyina kama. Uvya. And uhu we numu janu wa we numu saa. Into for a unique laser whitening, I was zero seven nine 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 seven nine two three three zero. Unique laser whitening, or say money sesso. Penny for say, be blue, we are sent in your da, near Tupno, Nanny Paponi Fonti, and was so more bumble with him, Nanny Papa Mudia, Pro Technologies, and I may come from my work, Annie Pro. Technologies. We are specialized in both sales and installation of CCTV cameras. Yet on as I install CCTV cameras in the saw gun and NASA brochure. Now if you gun now pursue a CCTV camera installation. We need pro technologies and in sour so yes CCTV camera installation, electric fence, automated gate, access control, video doorbell, and our intercom, and our satellite TV, home theater, so we pay biato, and our to and our person install them out. Pro technologies and our self fry na shining so see Fidia ni nae from America butu meo. Ndi sani papa mna upadia. Men nyene hu. Nani buwansu daft form. Metra ya nuda we butu meo muha. Eni ye branch. Ewa gana. Ye ni mo bra wo bre. Ntu sika fire nsem. Tse fanyye ya padia ma wa gana. Wo da. Da. Nani ye tene se. Ye sanye general construction. So we butu meo. Na wapeso si fi wa gana. E da yi plan yi biya wapeso si. Se wa sha si dada. Anafe na wapeso si. Plan yi biya. Ye besi yama. Enu echi. So ye solar power. Anabamba hon sen sem di adie. Woni ye ni sa was kwen fast to install it. Anani settings. Ye beye edi yama. Ewa gana. Ube hu ye. Wa mre of front enter. Edi wa niyache dodowa. Ube hu ye ewa ashi ye. Ye ni emal informasi. Ene wa the same building. For information. Or what's up. 401-7570-300. Ena plus 401-6992-254. Pro Technologies. We have the solutions for your security and home entertainment needs at affordable prices. Alright, I wish I for your sign up a beam. And then my mommy be never drink combo. Can you introduce yourself to my family? This is a, this is a family platform. It's a family platform. It's a family platform for um a Kwanaba family. Say a Kwanaba. A Kwanaba. Yeah. Okay. Thank that's that's the that's the family name. Family name yeah. a Kwanaba. So this is a family platform. <coughs> so I want you to introduce yourself to the family. Okay. Um, my name is Silindile. Um, my surname is Lufele. Um, originally from Eastern Cape. I am also tribe. Uh, right now, yeah, I'm a city girl. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. So Silindile. <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, there is this video trending in South Africa. Yes. Concerning, I don't know these guys whether they are from this tribe or this tribe, but I know they are South Africans. I don't know. Maybe they are not even South Africans. Okay. Because Zim guys also they does do this it. kind of stuff. You know? mm. So I don't know, maybe they are not even from South. Mm. But the point is they are South Africans. That's yeah, that's that's the that's, exactly. the that's the point in the news. Yeah. That um a Ghanaian church, Pentecost, has been attacked by South Africans, South Africans mob. Okay. So that's the issue now. Let's watch the video okay. and then I want to ask you some questions based on this video. Okay. And Oh, my God. 
Okay, Slay. I guess you've watched the video. Yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, what did you notice in this video? Hmm. First and foremost, for me, I okay. I keep on cringing because of these kids crying. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, as you said that uh, they declaring these people as South Africans because of this. Speaking Zulu. Okay, they, they were speaking Zulu. They were. I was listening. I was Zulu. Yes, I don't know whether they Zulus remember Zulu. No, I'm saying they were speaking Zulu. This is Zulu. Yes. Okay. What so, What did they say in Zulu? pants. It means that lie down. And oh, then they okay. kept on saying tulan tulan tulan. It means shut up. Oh, okay. Yes. So that's that's what I I discovered. And now I I just um. I have a problem with this guy on the platform. The way he was kicking this pastor. <laughs> it, it's so lame. The one in black. The one in black. Mm -hmm. And another thing, to th to see that these people are not even fearful, they, they don't even cover their faces. Yeah. How do you go but, attack many people with pride? I've seen, that I've seen videos in South Africa. Yeah. Doing armed robbery, attacking their bank vans. Yeah, yeah. Without even face masks. Daytime. So in South Africa, robbery daytime mm -hmm. and face covering is not there. Uh, it's news. not. Uh, but now, w w another thing is, you're not scared that you might see someone who knows you there, mm -hmm. as you're not covering yourself because you wouldn't even know who's there, who's not there. Yeah, 
that's what I'm saying. They they do robbery in South Africa with with their face showing on TV, you know, attacking bank uh, bank mm-hmm. robbery with bombs, boom boom. You with know? no mask. With no mask. So this is no news. You understand? Right. But tell me, what's what's the sense if they do that? Okay, when they whistle, I, I I want to assume that it's their code when they're calling each other, avoiding to call each other's names. Mm. So it's their code of uh, communicating within the, within themselves. So in our country, mo- mostly a uh, whistling, it's when you calling, it's hey, you know. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, and then you, I'm, so I'm, instead I'm, for them to be calling names, they they I, prefer I, to I, do I like. I want to assume, yeah, I assume that for them not to miss it and end up calling each other by names uh it's the code that they're using yeah. mm, 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 i see i see i see yeah. okay so so for them to not call let's say slain oh yeah, yeah. james oh, yeah yeah, they, like, <laughs> yeah. Mm. so yeah that's okay. that's i think it's a common thing that we do from growing up okay so yeah. so, so it means it means these guys who went to the church yeah they spoke um um, Zulu. It's a Zulu, yes. Okay, but it might be they are not even from the Zulu. It, it, it's a Zulu. It, 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 we have a, a, a tribe that is called Ngunis. So Ngunis, we speak, we we borrowing each other um, most of the words. So it might be Zulus, it might be Kosas, it might be Swatis, or even, as you, we mentioned earlier, the, the Zim as well, they're doing mm. this kind of crime in South Africa and they are those who are called Ndebeles. Who are not far far from speaking isizul mm-hmm. yeah okay okay i see mm-hmm. now um in south africa how is the crime rate sure <laughs> um sure it's 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 severe that's all i can say it's very high it's very in a high. sense that you you're not even safe in your own house mm. you you become paranoid even when you go into the stores because yeah the crime it's 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 in another level and there's no one who's doing anything about it like it's it doesn't become as a shockery it's it's just another one you okay know. so so this one is no news it is actually because it <laughs> happened at church <laughs> no you see you see i'm 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 bringing this question from a different i better we say different angles yes, from different yeah. different angles uh for me I, I want to believe that it is because it happened at church you understand okay. And uh, growing up, or even now at mm-hmm. present, we, we we take a church as a holy place. That's mm-hmm. where it, there should be. It's it's your safety. It's your it's well respected. No one would think of such things could happen at church. So yeah, it's shockery to me. Yeah. Mm, I see. Yeah, unlike uh, when it happens to the stores or any other place, it's church. There's a letter from Ghana Embassy. I want to read this letter. Okay. And then. I'll add a voice to this whole uh, movie. I oh. see it as a movie, you know, <laughs> movie. this whole movie. Yeah. Uh, this letter is from Ghana Embassy. And uh, this is dated, I think, yesterday, 25th, I don't know. Let's read this letter. What, it says, the date? there's no date on this okay. letter. No, no date. Okay. And the letter says, um, notice to Ghanaian community in South Africa. The attention of the High Commission of the Republic of Ghana has been drawn to an incident in which members of the congregation of the Johannesburg Church branch of the Ghanaian Church of Pentecost were robbed of their variables at gunpoint and a deacon of the church kidnapped. They kidnapped the deacon. Okay. Kidnapped during the church service on 29th October 2023. It was on Sunday. Yeah, so the deacon is kidnapped. Okay. The mission is presently working with the church in cooperation with the South African Police Service to ensure the speedy and safe release and return of the victim to his family. Mm. Kindly note that the South African police is fully focused on the matter and working hard to ensure the safe return of of our uh, compatriot, okay. Young uh, Queen, was a mission wish to advise all members of Ghanaian community to take necessary precautions to ensure their safety and well being. Mission will update the community of any further development related to this case. 30th October, 
and on board. Uh, the, this letter came out 30th October 2023 mm -hmm. from the Ghana Commission. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it means one of the deacon or I mean the uh, mm -hmm. church mm -hmm. elders were mm -hmm. kidnapped through this whole movie, you know. So they are working with the police mm. to bring this guy back to the family. Now, I have a Bible verse I want to start with before I start the conversation. I have a Bible verse I want to start with. Because Christians, our manual, our manual is the Bible. Okay. So the Bible is what we used. So I want to start with this Bible verse. And then I continue from where I want to continue. Mm -hmm. There are 421 Bible verses about feet. Okay, about feet. Matthew 21, 22 is speaking about feet. He said, all things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. John 20, 31. But these have been written so that you may believe that Jesus Christ is uh, the son of God and believing even the devil believes Mark 11 24 therefore I say unto you all all things for which you pray and ask believing that you have received them and they will be granted for you so I am bringing all this Bible verse to draw the attention of the church of Pentecost in Johannesburg or wherever they are Johannesburg. that where was the belief the belief according to the Bible where would they believe? Because they should use the name of the Lord, believe in the name of the Lord, and even command the thieves to be to be to be uh, let's say to be frozen, mm -hmm. or to fall down, or to change their mind, mm -hmm. or to even convert them to be part of the church. Mm -hmm. So where was their belief by then? My only problem is the children. Because they were born Christians. If they were born to be Buddhist, they would be they would be in the temple by now. Yeah. So they are there because their mother is a Christian. They have nothing to do with this. Mm. This is my problem. Yeah. The rest of them I don't care. Because as you said, that the church is supposed to be holy, it's supposed to be sanity, whatever. The church is not like that. Okay. Why it's not like it? it's not like what you think it is. It's not like that. But now, when you're saying you, you don't care about the congregation, what do you mean? I mean, I say I don't care. Let me explain it to you. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I don't care because this is not the first time Ghanaians has been robbed in South Africa. Point. Where was the Ghana embassy when Ghanaian shops in Joburg, in wherever, they were looting the shops. They go to the barbering shop with the point gun, take their money destroy whatever they have where was ghana embassy yeah and just to add on that others they were burnt at some point yes some yeah they were burnt mm. where was ghana embassy they should be issuing a lot of responsible and reasonable letters this one is not okay these are christians even if they were killed they are going to heaven okay so they should be issuing letters mm. to ghanaians who are being maltreated or mean attack in their shops in the streets everywhere mm. in south africa these are the letters they should be writing not not focusing on the, not the focus, church not just this one this is just a normal thing nothing happens it's fine the okay. money is not for the pastor it's for the spiritual tabas i call them tabas you know what is tabas no the, the, the spiritual foolish ones it's for them it's for them the spiritual babies okay okay they gave it to the pastor and then somebody took it. it's fine it's fine it's normal it's okay i think nobody was killed it's fine mm -hmm. but Which is a good thing. yes yeah, it's, it's normal it's normal i was in Joburg, i think two years ago mm -hmm. and then they took my laptop mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. on the street in melvin mm -hmm. the police was on that same they were route. walking through the small. police was there on the route yeah you understand? Mm. The police did not even ask, hey, are you okay? No, mm. no, no. He just left. Mm. The guy did the transaction with me nicely. Mm. Give me your laptop. Okay, take it. Mm. You have the charger? Oh, take the charger. What do you want? You want coffee? Uh, ah, thank you, bro. You good? Yeah. And then it's fine. It's normal. 
You understand? Then the police came back and I was like, are you okay? <laughs> you understand? After they, the, the yeah, whole after they are gone, they said, are you okay? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, I mean, it's South Africa. So the church congregation, they know this is not something, it has nothing to do with traumatized, like, hey, they are traumatized. No, 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 they know. Okay. It's in South Africa. The crime rate is high, they know. Yeah. Then they know all this kind of stuff, you understand? Mm-hmm. So the, the mission should be writing letters to protect the citizens from Ghana in South Africa. Mm-hmm. Not this one. This one is just Christians going to heaven. It's fine. Not this one. Do you, do you feel that they they trying to treat to treat them special in this yeah, incident? Yeah, 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 yeah. They is are trying to treat feel? Yeah, I feel they are trying they are treating them too special. It's normal. Nothing happened. It's normal. You understand? Okay. It's normal because that's where the money is. I'm not condoning crime, but okay. I'm just saying the guys need money. And the money is there in the church. So they went for the money. It's normal. Because there's a lady who is called uh, Mama Becky. Mm. She was preaching against the church. That they should use the money to help the poor, the widow, the orphan. And this lady has been sacked from the church of Pentecost. Okay. Because of what she is saying. About giving back to the community. Giving back to the community. She's been sacked. So if you sack somebody from saying the truth, mm-hmm. that give that money to the poor. Mm-hmm. And now the poor is coming for the money. I don't think anything wrong with that. They should go for the money. It's normal. For how, me, I don't care. How do you how do you think we should feel protected? In any instance in South Africa. In South Africa, uh, fine. We are not talking about in South the, the, Africa. We are talking Ghana, about the, the we are talking means. about the, the, the church. The church. You said something from the beginning mm-hmm. that the place is sanitary. It's not I mean, you safe, said, yeah. of course. You said something like that, yes. Of course, I said that. No, no. The that's church. where the criminals are. Okay, to me, that's where the criminals are. Even when you are going out to give your offering mm. at the pulpit, mm-hmm. the pastor will just give an announcement. Mm-hmm. Please go with your bag, please. Mm-hmm. If you don't go, the next person will steal from you. Mm, yeah. At church, yeah, yeah at church. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So to me, that place is just um, you are going for motivational message. Well, this pastor was speaking uh, about how to be rich or make it in life, you know. And then somebody came make it in life, so it's normal. They made it in life through them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came and make it in life. I just want to challenge them. That they should practice what they preach. If you say Daniel was in the lion's den mm. with lions, mm. and Daniel had the feet, mm. and because of that, the, the lions couldn't bite Daniel, or whatever. Okay, where is that feet? You, you, where is your feet? But Use no, that feet. Use that no, same feet. You, you should recall that we living in a flesh. So they should just tell us they are not spiritual fathers. They should tell us we are all flesh. They should just stop using that word. I am the man of God, and who am I? Man of good. No. We are all man of God. How are you expecting? We, we, we respond differently when it comes to fear. Because if you go back and... There should not be fear. God did not create us to, us to be fear. Especially Christians. We are not supposed to be fearful. We're supposed to he be froze. bold. You know? The pastor froze at the moment he saw that. Yes, so the pastor himself knows he has no power. The pastor himself he knows he has no power. Because he's there to feed souls. Nothing else, right? Uh, yes, that's what I'm saying. So the pastor himself, he knows he has no power. If he has power, he should just speak power to... So was he supposed he's, to risk he's, he's his speak, life? He should speak power, power to authority. So was he supposed to risk his life and play... If you risk your and life... play God and say, no. and say, don't do anything to my congregation. I command you right now yes, to put yes. those guns speak down. power. If you risk your life, you are going to heaven, Okay. They will shoot you. You go heaven straight. How, how about what about his family? His we, family. Naked, naked we come. Naked we go. So if you die, you are going to heaven yourself. You don't care about your family. You go go to heaven. Your family will think about how they will get to heaven. You so, yourself think about how you build your own personal relationship with God. Do Do you think us as people who goes to church? At some point, I'm not saying all the time. That is why I'm using at some point. Do you think we we illusional or delusional in other things that happens? We we turn the blind eye where we knows when we know very well that other things are impossible, but we choose to see what we see. Because now, as you're saying that, you expected the pastor if he believes in faith, if he is faith, the faith, yes, and he, he, he if he believes that he's got power, he would have converted those people to 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 leave all these 
dark life they're living and yeah. lure them to church. Yes. So do you think as me as a follower at church, do you think that I know such things that my pastor doesn't have powers to do so, but I go to church anyway? Yeah, you know. Then why do I go to church if that's the only if I believe that my pastor pastor can't do things to make me believe that God does exist because of they are called uh, listen, the the the, the this, men men of God. Listen, uh, that word I don't even want to hear about that word. Listen, this whole movie, okay, this movie. Let me explain to you. The pastor is the shepherd, right? Yeah. The congregation are the sheep. Mm. So when you take your sheep to the bush to eat from the bush and there's a lion coming to attack the sheep, mm -hmm. what must the shepherd do? That's why you walk around. David was walking around with the arrow, with stones, mm -hmm. with whatever, to attack those who are coming to attack the sheep. Mm -hmm. This pastor is the only person who can see from the entry to the church. He is on the pulpit. Mm -hmm. The rest of them, are sitting looking to the pulpit. Mm. So what if these gangs entered and they start shooting? Mm. They will all die. But yeah. the pastor will run. Maybe he will be saved. Mm. Not through any power. And he will take that as a testimony to share yeah. to the next congregation, right? So the pastor must protect the congregation. He is the shepherd. They are the sheep. And the attack is coming. Why is he lying down in the first place? You've given up already. Lying how when you're trying to protect yourself and you are protecting leader, yourself. What about the sheep? As a leader, he surrendered. Maybe on, what about the sheep? When maybe when he was surrendering, he was telling the congregation to do the same, not to fight those criminals. No, no, no. Listen, fight. Yes. Fight who? Maybe a reason that he didn't become mm. stubborn and everything. Mm -hmm. He was scared that the congregation might do the same. Why are you scared? You are not born to be scared as a Christian. You, do, you are not supposed to be scared. You should be bold. Why are you scared? But the I pastor must flesh. stand on that pulpit and command. You must stand on that pulpit and command. Don't fall. Don't, don't give up. Why are you giving up? For what? You are saving your life. You don't want to go to heaven again. Don't give up. Speak through to power. So he was just supposed so to... So they are always preaching about Daniel. They are preaching about uh, Moses. Sounds. They are preaching about uh, Elijah. They are preaching about uh, James. This one was uh, boiled in uh, oil. This one's head was cut. What happened to you? You, you, you. Preach. He saved his life. You save you. are saving your life. Did, did, did James save his life? Did uh, uh, Moses and uh, Elijah, did they save it? No, they, they stood firm with faith. And it worked. So now, why you you want to attach what happened to other people to the pastor who's writing his own script script of his life? That maybe one day they will say his history. You want him to 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 follow everything that was done by other prophets. So if if you cannot practice what you preach, stop preaching about what you are practicing and practice what you can do. Preach about yourself. There's a lot of things you need to preach about yourself. Preach about that one. Forget about Moses. Forget about Samson. Forget about Daniel. Preach about yourself. The other day I was in church and I saw the gang coming and the Lord came upon me. Mm. I used the faith. I spoke to the gang. And that's what <laughs> preach about yourself. Stop yeah. preaching about Daniel, about uh, Elijah, uh, Moses, Samson. Yourself. Preach about yourself. This is what I'm, I'm looking from them. They should preach about themselves. And then what about the congregation? Also Are you thinking huh? about the congregation who, go, who went through all of these traumas? What happened the, on Sunday? Yeah, nothing happened. And probably, it, nothing happened. Nothing there were happened. kids crying there. Probably, as they were saying, lala pants, it means that they all, they were kneeling, they were crawling down, and maybe they were told not even to look at their faces. And that thing, how do you remove that incident? They are anyway? following Jesus Christ, right? Yes. Do you know what Jesus Christ passed through? Yes. Okay, so why are you looking for so, so why I are you looking for milk? Jesus Christ did not drink milk. No, no, no. Jesus was suffering big time. You must suffer to gain. I would for me personally, mm -hmm. which when I looked at that video, I was like, yo, this pastor right now, probably even not thinking about his life is thinking that he will lose many people at church. They go to heaven straight. 
most of people they will never go to that church. That is their problem. And no. then what about who, the pastor who is he going to preach to? Preach to. Yes, they should go back together celebrate whatever that has happened. The Jesus has the church. Jesus was preaching all over, walking in the bushes, in the mountains, on the sea, preaching. You are stuck at one place. So if you want to preach, you can walk around, go to the Zulu Zulu community. You go to the Kosa community. You go to, keep mentioning the, the names, <laughs> Zulu, Twala, Swana, Twana, Swana community, Eddie's, Vendors, Venda Kosas. community, Kosas. You go to their community and you preach. Don't stay at one place. And be expecting miracle from anywhere. No. So what are you saying? Are what I'm you... saying now is, you went to church with your uh, with your own mind. Eh? You know very well that place is not secured. You know, you know it's not secured. There are even thieves. I don't know that. I, I'm telling you. I always go to church. There are and even be thieves. Free. Christians are the most hypocritical lifestyle. Or I don't even know how to put it. If you want the word hypocrisy, is the Christians. Chameleons. Yeah, yeah they, they, that's the, the, too much. <laughs> they know very well that place is not safe. They know. Some went to church because they have good clothes. Mm, because they, they want to meet friends. They want to listen to music. Mm. Some see the place as entertainment hall. Mm. The pastor is just a, a motivational speaker. Mm. This one, yeah, it's a motivational speaker. Mm. This one. You were just making motivational mm-hmm. speaking. Life. How if you want to make it in life? These people do this to make life. It's motivation. Yeah. So this one is not... You know? So you, are you saying we shouldn't go to church? For me, I would say stay home. Where two or three people are gathered in my name, he says he's there. When coronavirus was there and you guys were on lockdown, how did you worship God? You were just praying at home with family. Okay, so what changed? Nothing has changed. It's the same thing. You must build your own personal relationship with God. Mm, I that, agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Forget agree. about these gangsters. Forget about these crooks. For me, I don't even believe what happened. I believe there's somebody in that church who even called them to come take this money. So we share. Say that though. For me. Imagine. For me. Let's because say, December is coming, mm-hmm. and they are going to do a lot of festivals in the church. Mm, they are going to raise true. money mm-hmm. because December is coming. True. So it may be the the bishop or the elder or the whatever. They call this Zulu guy. Say, my guy, today we are raising money. Mm. Everybody has money in the pocket. Come, let's take the scars and then let's share it. It's mm. normal. Don't see them as holy. They can do it. Mm. You understand? But my point is, the Ghana community or the Ghana embassy in South Africa must start issue letter eh, mm. to protect Ghanaians in South Africa. Not these uh, guys. Specific. No, no, no. You just forget about this one. This will start issuing letter that South Africans should stop attacking those who have shops, barbering shops, those who have uh, maybe boutique, I don't know, those who have a restaurant, I don't know. Mm-hmm. They should stop attacking them, especially the Ghanaians. Mm. These are the letters we want to read. Not people who are willing to go to heaven. And no, then there's and a point of gun, they want to just help you go. But Boom, how, go. How, how are they going to be protected though? Which one? Um, let's say, as you say, the embassy has to be firm about because now, now, every now Ghana, man. because now Ghana and uh, South Africa they have good relation. Okay. True. Very good, very good relation. Yes. So I it's have... easy. It's very easy for the embassy to come in so that Ghanaians in South Africa will have a little bit peace. Mm. It's very easy. So they should just forget about uh, church being point gun. Boom boom. It's so important. They should concentrate. On those who have shops, mm. that the mobs go there, take their money, maybe loot them, take their food, anything, you know. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. Not you going to heaven and somebody helping you to go. But now, remember, even if uh, the, 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 the embassy can uh, emphasize uh, the South Africans not to attack Ghanaians, right? But you should understand one thing. It's not like I'm going to listen to them if... Really, really, I want to go. But at least money. an effort has been made. This one, they can decide to even kill the kidnap one and mm. throw him somewhere. And and with you that, what, what if, if 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 I may ask you in your in your opinion, mm. why do you think they they kept they kept the Deccan instead? What is it? Do they want more money? That's what? what I'm saying. I don't even trust them. 
Okay, for me, my opinion is for me. Uh, my it's my opinion. Mm-hmm. For me, in this whole thing, I see some because now there's someone who's been kidnapped. Mm-hmm. For me, I think somehow, somehow, remember these pastors as well. They do fight amongst each, each other, mm-hmm. right? But so, this this one, this is Church of Pentecost. They don't do this kind of stuff. Okay. They they are like Pentecostal kind of thing. You but you wish you really be they get be you know this this they don't yeah. do this kind of one mind church thing. Okay. So for them So do you think they kidnapped the deacon to ask for for, for more money? No, so that they will share. They they're going to share the money and then they will leave the deacon. So the deacon will come back and act like yeah. he was they will, they, will, they will just touch him, touch him, little bit touch. And then he will, yeah. and he'll be rich again in this yeah, pocket. It's, it's normal. It's oh, not nothing wow. has happened. They can do that. I don't trust them, you know. For me, I don't trust them. So I don't see anything wrong with this one. You understand? Because South Africa and robbery and uh, killing is normal. There's nothing new here. But you cannot say that. You cannot make normality out of crime. Because yes, as you say that, we should stay at home. We say we should stay at home. Stay home. And don't go to church. Don't go. But stay they home. do even attack us, attack us in our own houses. But th- that that one that one is a little bit um, um, easy for you. It doesn't happen more often in the, in the house. Hmm. But it's the first time I hear that they attack the church. The first time. Yes. I'm telling you, mark it on the wall. More and more is coming. They will do it more and more because the orphans, the widow, the poor, mm. the needy. Mm. They know very well if they want cash, first real one. cash, first one within two seconds, they will get it from the church. They know, so now, they they will go there. They will but keep now going there. Those people whom I say sanity, they find sanity at church. Do you think they should now invest more in getting more security, like other pastors that I know out that there? That is who why. That is why most of these pastors they have securities because mm-hmm. they don't have power. They are criminals. So because they are criminals, they don't have power. They need security to guide them. Okay. Because they know very well they will be attacked. They know they are criminals. They know. So now should the Pentecost church start? Doing all of them. Now? They are all criminals. They, they should start now. Yeah, they, should, they, should, they shouldn't. I mean, act like they are holy. They should join them. Uh, they shouldn't act like they are untouchable. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. They should join them. They should join them and then bring more security to them because they are all criminals. So that they will be protected. Because nothing is protecting them. They don't have any power. Nothing. Nothing. So they should just join them. And then bring more security to protect them because they are not going to any heaven. They know very well they are not going to heaven. They know very well they are criminals. They are stealing from the poor. You understand? They know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they should bring security so that the security will protect the church members, the spiritual tabas, mm. those who cannot think. They should bring security to protect them. So after church, they go home peacefully. You understand? Okay. They should just join the criminals. Make it. I mean, obvious. You yeah. want them to make it visible yes, out there. Yes, yes. Because you them. believe that they are criminals. It's just that they're hiding, unlike others that who are being exposed out there. Yes, they should just join them. They should join them. They should feel free. Eh? Feel free and join them. <laughs> we are also criminals. So we are, they should feel free and join them. Yeah. Yeah, they should feel free. It's normal. Nothing has happened here. For me, I don't see anything wrong with this one. Nothing is wrong here. It's so free. as you said earlier that you don't hate pastors. You don't hate uh, the church or whatsoever mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's how they do things all of them all of them you understand look this guy was busy preaching you see and yes. and he saw the guys coming yes and see why are you lying down why be bold be bold you have the faith you know have the faith but who's a pastor isn't a pastor a human being and you want to be a spiritual at the same time if you now you remember you're a human being when you see gun you're a human being without gun then you are a spiritual man hmm. eh? when you see gun then you say i am also a human being so without the gun then you become a spiritual father so which one are you spiritual father or human being both both <laughs> <laughs> I am both. <laughs> I am in this earth that is listen. have its shenanigans. Listen, listen, but listen. yes, I chose my path as as an individual because <laughs> I was called and I I responded to God that I should lead. I'm saying what happened here for me. I don't believe them. 
I believe they even called the Zulu guys to come and take the money, kidnap one of them, go share the money after I touch me small and then, and then bring what me if, back. If, but if, if you, you did that to your own church, to your own people, what if something went wrong? Yeah. Not, no, no, then it's, it's planned, you know, it's already planned. What if someone from the congregation wanted to act uh, powerful no, no, and all no, no, that no, no. and then no, they no, shoot no, no, him no, and no, no, die? No, 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 no. Your pastor, which is your spiritual father, is lying down. Where are you going? <laughs> The, so what are you saying? Yeah. Are you saying that these people are capable of hypnotizing the whole church to do what they do? Yes, it's very easy. The pastor is even down. So everybody would do Yeah, the pastor just surrendered. They say, oh my oh boss, oh boss. So what are you doing? You surrender. Your pastor just surrendered. What are you going to do? You must also surrender. You understand? The organize, they did not touch the organize. Mm. The organize has a, a, a phone. Mm. He hit the phone. Look, let me show you. Look, I'm telling you, they know what will happen. Look, look, look at the organist. Look, mm. you see, look, mm. go, 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 go. He hit the phone. Look, you see, he hit, he's hiding the phone. Look, look, he's look, 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 look. Mm. You see, mm. you see, mm -hmm. you see, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. He lied down. The guys came. They never touched the organist. The organist talked to the pastor. He, he just giving a little bit short, like, boom. You understand? Like, look, he just boot the pastor, just a small one, no? Mm -hmm. A touch. Say, hey, come on, let's go. <laughs> the organizer. The, the organizer is sleeping. And and just going back, mm -hmm. before the pastor reacted, the person who kept on looking forward is the one, the one who's lying there, the one who's not bothered on the other side. The organizer. He was the one who kept on looking even before the pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, so I I don't trust. Don't, don't trust but i'm telling you don't trust anything you see i feel like you are paranoid somehow, somehow you want to you look at possible I'm, I'm, which is a good thing that you have to look at the, all the possible mm -hmm. ways because at this point maybe even within the congregation look they keep look, on the guy took look look at this one look i want to show you something here look 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 i want to show you something the guy took an envelope, mm. huge envelope, yeah, from this guy's pocket. Mm. Look, check. You see? Mm. You see? Mm. Huge envelope. All right. Mm. <laughs> For me, I'm telling the truth. I don't trust these guys. You know, the <laughs> pastors, the Christians. I don't trust them. They can do anything. I don't trust anybody. You understand? And then another thing that I, 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 I want to check with you is this thing that at churches, don't they have cameras angled in, in the whole place? So or now the, 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 the camera only focuses to the pastor. Now you are asking this question because you saw this video, right? Yes. This is not a camera. Okay. This one is not a camera. Okay. This is a telephone recording. Somebody was recording this same one. Okay for the pastor or for himself or for somebody i don't know mm. so this is not a camera this is a phone on tripod okay so the the criminals did not see this phone because it was on a tripod far away from the pulpit okay that's why when he was speaking you couldn't even hear the voice loud mm. but isn't it churches should have cameras everywhere Maybe. I don't know about this one. I don't know about their church, whether it's small or big. Okay. I don't know. So but this one was on a, on, a, on a tripod. Look, when the guy, the guys left with the dickin or whoever, mm -hmm. then the guy came to pick the telephone from the tripod. Look. Mm -hmm. Look. Mm -hmm. You see what the pastor is doing? He's telling the congregation to relax. Relax. Yes. You know why? Now they've been robbed already. Mm -hmm. And some of them say, Call the police. Why are you calling police? This is where I, I get it all wrong. You know very well in South Africa, even the police can even pass by. Pass by you when you were beaten no, big no, time. Not just passing by. I mean, as you said, that there are other things that as South Africans, we made them as a norm. In South Africa, we know that our police, we they are bribed. Yes. You, know, so, you can do anything and then yeah. you bribe them. So forget about calling the police. Your life is safe. Go home and eat, sleep. You understand? The one who is kidnapped. He's going to share the money. He will come back the next Sunday and give testimony. And then you start paying more. Allegedly. Say, say allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. He will come back on Sunday. 
Mm. Okay, I'm telling you what will happen. He will come Sunday mm. and give testimony. A church. In church. Mm. And then that testimony will raise a lot of money for them the same day. Because he's traumatized, of course. He needs counseling. Nah, nothing is traumatized. Forget that. Listen. I don't trust them. Being poor bishop, whatever. I don't trust them. Look at the camera. Look. The guy is coming to take the camera. When you pick the camera, look, you see? You see? This is and where was this guy, guy off a camera all this time? This is the telephone. It's a telephone. I, I, this is I, not I, a... I, 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 I get it. <laughs> this but maybe it was on a stand. It's on a tripod. Okay. You understand? I get you. So, all this thing happened for me. The Ghana embassy writing the letter to whoever. And saying they investigated. They should too. just start writing letters to the consulate or whoever about Ghanaians in South Africa who are being robbed in their shops at a point gun who are who, who they've looted their shops taking their laptops they should write letters on that not this this is just a movie make it an umbrella of saying can our people be protected in yes this country? yes this is just a movie the part two will come later this is a movie Okay. Nothing happened here. So you 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 reckoning that after this other criminals they've seen now a playground. Yes, they will come. They will, they will do more. More of these such things is going to happen. More. Is or coming. maybe it, they won't because now even now the pastors I'm saying more will come. What if now the pastors are aware of what's been going and then they will have more protection now than before? Yes, that's what I'm saying. They should join the criminals. They shouldn't exempt themselves from being holy. They are criminals. They should add themselves to the criminals and bring more security to protect the collection bow, to, to protect the tithe, to protect the seed, to protect the ships. They should bring security because they know very well they don't have any power. They know very well when they even they mention the name of Jesus Christ. They know very well. They themselves, they know they don't have the power to mention the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. When the pastor saw them coming, you could have said, even if it's not going to work, mm. Jesus, Jesus. Did you mm. hear any Jesus? Mm -mm. No, actually not. Did you hear any Jesus? No, not even. Oh you should just God. try, try. Oh, oh my God, nothing. You should just try and mention something. But we, as I said earlier, we don't respond the same when it comes to a shock. No, no, no. As a Christian, as a pastor, just say something. Even if it's not working, it's fine. Oh. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Did you hear Jesus? Oh, I command you, as you said. That one, if you cannot even say it. When he, you know very well that when he said command, this guy will kill him. Because the command is not going to work. He knows it's not going to work. <laughs> okay. You understand? But he, he was supposed to call his God. He doesn't have any God. He's there to make money. But now the money is taken away from him. This is small money. This one is small. They should have added the account numbers for them to log in and then transfer. They should do it good, you know? Because the money is in the pocket of these guys. You understand? They should, they should just open the app eh, on the phone. Mm. Enter your password. Mm. When he's delaying, hit him with the, 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 the gun, with the mouth. Boom! And then you log in into the account. And then he said, transfer this amount to this account. He will do it after then you kidnap that one maybe the one that they've kidnapped has mm. the access to the account mm. so they are going to do transaction maybe that's what that's what i was asking that you cannot just take someone without knowing that they are the asset of the of, of the church that person they took him for a reason that maybe he's the one who runs everything and everything right within the church within mm -hmm. the church like mm -hmm. as you're saying that they should take one and then maybe he has an access to whatsoever the reason may be. But for me, it's this thing now that what will happen after this? I, I anticipate, for me, I anticipate after this service, what's going to happen next? I, I'm really anticipating. The church members mm. must tell this pastor, the next Sunday, we want to see bodyguards. We want to see military in the church guiding us. Where will they get that money? Pentecost. Pentecost church. Ah, they have too much money. Pentecost, too much. Too much money. The Church of Pentecost. You can check about the Church of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. You have too much money. They are like rumors, you know. Mm. They have too much money. Okay. So they use this money to protect them. 
bring bodyguards, bodybuilders mm. in the entrance, mm. in the church, bounces. on the pulpit, bounces. Mm. You know, mm. they should bring electronic devices to, to scan. But now, do, do, what's your take with, because you keep, you keep on saying normal, normal things in South Africa are normal. What do you think our South Africans can do better? South Africans? Yes. Because mm. now you cannot just make this pass as if it's okay, it's normal, and so it's allowed. Like, in the church, normal, in the church, yes. it's okay. But at business places, they should stop. They should go but to the church. But it's not like everybody who goes to church, their intentions are bad. Other people, they go there innocently. I'm talking about the criminals. But they, how will you know this one is a criminal? This one no, is. I'm talking about those who want to do crime. I agree. They should go to church, not the. But now, what if they go to the wrong church where the the pastor's intentions are pure and they are doing right by the church and everybody pure, around them? Pure, like he's not community. taking money. Yes, maybe. Do you, do you know any pastor who doesn't take money? Do you know any pastor? Yeah, most of uh, Zion churches they they, they, they don't, don't take money. They don't. They, they don't just, take money. Unlike okay, unlike no, I just wanted to confirm <laughs> they don't take money. Not crazy money as money is money. If you take even one rand is money, two rand is money, three rand is money. They take that isn't money. Isn't that part of tithing? Oh. We need to tithe the church, right? So if you you give one rand, uh-huh. do you think that it's still crime? One rand, it's crime. Yes, yes. You understand? No. Did you start? Or practice what they preach. That is, they should help the needy, the poor, the orphans. This money should be used on them. If not, the orphans, the needy, the poor, they will come for it themselves. And it's not going to stop. This is not a prophecy. This is what is coming. <laughs> you. you understand? This is what is coming. Because this is a free money. The pastors don't pay tight. Uh, sorry, tax. Mm. They, they don't, don't contribute need. nothing. Mm. And they get paid, of course. This church, this church mm. built a prison. Okay. A very big prison in Ghana. Okay. Why are you building prisons? While we need schools, while we need other because facilities like your hospitals and your own. Because he knows very well that the preaching cannot even change the lifestyle of anybody. So they will go straight to the prison. So let me build the prison straight. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they are big, a nice prison, very nice prison. You understand? Instead of schools and hospitals? Yeah, they be prison. Oh, so wow. so they have the money. I'm telling you, they have too much money. And this thing will continue. They will come for that money. You understand? The orphans will come and take it themselves. But my worry is that thing that you believe that people should stop going to church. What is church? Church, it's where we, we... This is just a, a building, a, a building or a temple or whatever. But that's where other people, they find relieving stress by being around Okay, so people. now the stress is released. So what's your problem? You believe your stress will be released in this church, in Pentecost, right? This place. You went there, your stress is released. What are you complaining about? How? What is how? It's it just added more. Added more. Like... Okay, so <laughs> I'm telling you, this thing will not stop. Because the church can make every country grow very fast. Mm. They can build companies. They can build schools free. Mm. They can build hospitals free. Mm. They can even use the name of the Lord to bring machines to Ghana free. They can prophesy to, I don't know, whoever, a rich man in abroad. That the Lord told me to tell you that if you are able to bring this machine that can do surgical operation in Ghana, mm. it's going to con- they will bring it. Just use the name of the Lord to mm. bring machine to Ghana. So you you just saying they should just use the name of the Lord for right reasons. For right reasons, it's very easy. They will, they will do it. It's very easy. Not for their own benefits. No, no, no. You can just use the name of the Lord to preach to the politicians. The Lord told me that this road is bad road. If you don't do this road, by the next day you will die, they will do it. They should use the name of the Lord eh, to do the right thing. If not, the poor, the widow, the orphan, they will come there and take their money. The money is not for you. It's for their mothers or for their ancestors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You understand? Because mm-hmm. the, the kids are now thinking straight mm-hmm. that um, I am the same school 
with this eldest son. Mm. This eldest son now, as I speak, is in the university. Mm. He's working this. He's driving this car. He has this house. He has da 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 da. da. And me, I'm still stuck. I'm my stuck. mom is still praying. And my mom has been taking the last money we have at home to, to the, the church. church. They will come for it. I'm telling you, they will come. Wow, I never looked at it that way. They will come and take it themselves. Not that I'm convinced. No, I'm not saying you are convinced. <laughs> but listen, they will come and take it. They will come and take it. So this one, those guys who went there, you said they speak, they spoke Zulu. Mm. They are not rich. They was, let's rather say they were speaking Guni. Guni, okay. Yeah. They are not. They are not rich guys. Yeah. These ones, they are not from a rich home. This one are street guys. Yeah. This one are street guys, and this one was premeditated. They, and obviously, they didn't just wake up and decide to go to the church. No. They made their research. They yes, did yes. Everything and everything. They knew very well that that day they will get cash. They knew, and they took huge money from that uh, this man's pocket, mm. and that money was in an envelope. He was going to give it to the church free of charge. Mm. Free of charge. It's month end, right? Mm, it is. People are coming with their tight. Yeah, it's month end. They are coming with their tight. Mm. Somebody is working, taking like say twenty thousand rents. You to need to pay two thousand rents mm. as tight yeah, to the church. Two thousand. Yeah. They, they they just came and took the money. It's, it's a nice. It's a nice. I love this too much. <laughs> you love what? You love this 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 criminal. I love it too much. I love them. They should go to the church. They should stop bothering. Mm ordinary people on the on the street okay but to think about it that the, the f- criminals they've been doing things everywhere let's focus on Canadians. even you you they, they attack you right now you go to hospital and then you go home you move mm-hmm. and then now it's a church thing uh, uh, but bro these guys don't go to that church i'm telling you they've they've made a, a poster Mm. They've made a poster or maybe a banner mm. hanging it somewhere mm. in that community mm. that this day or next month we are doing harvest. Mm. Mm. They do, yeah, yeah, they do post all yeah, yeah, yeah. So the guys read the poster and they went for the cash. Nice, good. It's the nice, nice. But that money is not going to the to God. That money, if the, it was not stolen by these guys, mm. it's not going to God. It's not going to Jesus Christ. It's Where going straight going? to their pocket. And they, they are going to enrich them. themselves with that money. I hope for good causes, though. Yeah, no, they are going to enrich themselves with this money. I'm just saying that. So I these guys took the money. Yeah, it's going for good. Yeah, cause. they should just keep. They, they should just go go to the churches and take the money, not from the ordinary people. I don't care whatever anybody thinks. I don't care. Right now, I I feel like, okay, in my ears, it sound like you you promoting this. Please retrieve they, that. They should, no, they should go to they should go to the churches for the money. The money is there. The money they have the money but too it much. Sounds money. like you condoning right now. Maybe no, you need to retrieve that. I'm, I'm telling them to stop disturbing the guys on the street. Those who are doing barbering, they should mm. stop disturbing them. Mm. Those who are do, those who have shops, they mm. should stop disturbing them. The they should just sleep, mm. mm-hmm. sleep. Sunday, go and take it from the church. It's easy. Cause that those the, that that money. They are not paying tax on that money. But those doing barbering shop, they are paying tax. Mm. Those doing uh, okay, restaurant, they are, they are the paying businesses. tax. Mm. They are paying tax to help mm. the community, right? To mm. help the government. Mm. But this one, they don't pay ta- the tax. So if you want free money, it's easy. Wait, sleep, Sunday, go and take it. And then you go. Don't kill anybody. Just go take it and go. It's easy. Because if they have food with the stomach, they have food, they have clothes, they have life. They will not come to you. They don't have life. That's why they are coming there. And they will come. This is not the first time. And it's not going to be the end. They will come. It's my first time hearing about the, the robbery at church. Honestly. They, it's, it's going to happen more and more and more. They will come. You understand? They will come. How about maybe... So the, the Ghana to embassy you? in South Africa should start writing letters. Please tell them to do so. Yes, the Ghana embassy should start writing letters to protect the citizens from Ghana who are doing legit business in South Africa mm. to protect them. This letter they brought about this uh, church being attacked, blah, 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 blah. We don't want this kind of letters. They should write letters 
to protect Ghanaians in South Africa who are doing legit business, paying their tax, mm. being attacked by armed robbers, mm. being attacked by mobs, being looted. They should write this kind of letters. Not this letter that uh, this church has been robbed. So what, what do, we, do we care? That is their problem. They should concentrate. And what, is it, what is it in for the, the embassy that they focusing on this church thing, robbery, out of other encounters? What is it in for them? Why the specific church? Why and them? Why them? Why? No, no. It's, it's, it's a process. They started from somewhere and it, it will end somewhere. Okay, so they, they chose to start with the church instead of starting with when there was xenophobic attack, people were they should, they should stop xenophobia. Xenophobia should be stopped. Yes, but... If I'm they want real cash, I said it's in the church. That's what I'm saying, that the embassy, why, to be specific, they started with this one. Out of all other encounters, what, mm. what make, what, in, your, in your mind, what do you think, why, why they started focusing on this one, to be specific? Which the one? church. The church. Uh -huh. they, it's only now that they release a statement, right? Uh -huh. After the church has been attacked. Uh -huh. Why specifically the church, out of all other encounters that it has happened to Canaanians, mm -hmm. those who were robbed, those who were looted, those who were killed. Some were even banned. Yes. Some others, they, they lost. These people, they didn't lose their lives. They just lost the, the, the materialistic things mm -hmm. and money, right? Mm -hmm. in, your, in your mind, why do you think for the embassy was so important now to bring it to their attention and to write a statement when this happened. The church deals with the embassies. The church, they have connections with the politicians. Hmm. You understand? So the church deals with the embassies. Okay. It might be even some of the embassy guys goes to that church. Hmm. It's possible. Hmm. Maybe somebody was lying there from the embassy. Mm. <laughs> so it's because of they, they 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 are powerful. The church is power. They are not powerful in the spirit. Okay, not in spirit. Yeah, I'm talking about being powerful in the system. Yeah, they because they control masses. Okay, you understand. So my problem is, the embassy should start writing letters to protect Ghanaians in South Africa doing legit business. Not this kind of letters. I like what you're saying. Not this kind of letters. You understand? That's and then the South Africans and South Africans should stop attacking Ghanaians, doing legit business, trying to make ends meet. I know right now, obviously, you're speaking for your country, but for me in general, we are human beings. We are. It's worse, we are Africans. We should just stop attacking each other. We should just stop taking from each other, but help each other. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But now I understand you're talking about Ghanaians, but yeah. it's not Ghanaians only who, who are affected. Even us South African Africans, we are attacked by specifically I have been in a situation with Zimbabweans, mm -hmm. you understand. For me, it's this thing that now the emphasis in, in our government is to make sure that us as human beings, as Africans, we, sh we should stop hurting each other. We should stop, you know, taking from each other. Because other people, they work hard for their monies. Even if those people, they choose to tithe with the money at church, they went to work hard for it. It's just that it, it wasn't there within their plans that maybe you come from Ghana, you come to South Africa, you work, and then you're thinking of giving back to your whole own country. Because now they give it back to pastors even if they are Ghanaian, but they're giving it back to South Africa. Mm -hmm. So maybe now they should as well think of giving back to your own country. Mm -hmm. But whether which embassy, they just should just start emphasizing that we should not take it from each other and we should protect each other and we should see each other as human beings and as black people to be specific. You understand? So don't just dwell on the emphasis of Ghanaians, I understand. And now I'm speaking as well for my country. We okay. just have to stop taking from each other. Have your church been robbed? No. Okay, so we are talking about Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your church has not been robbed. Okay, my sister is like, Elkona, but listen to the lady. We trust what you said about, what, what did I say? Has my church been robbed? No, no, uh, my sister Evelyn Lee Abua is saying, uh, Konaba, listen to the lady and, and retract from what you said. Retract what? Oh. Retract what? Um, 
I was saying in my ears, okay. in my ears, you sounded like you, you condoning, like you, 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 no, you, no, no. you telling, you telling uh, the criminals who went to churches to go for more. I felt like you should retract. Listen, you, listen, you, listen. You, you should I'm, I'm promoting it. No, no, listen, listen. I'm not promoting it. What I said is, they need money, right? Yes. And there's a video I sent to you, I think last yes. two weeks. That they want Africans to leave this country. This country, yes. That they have taken their jobs. Yes. And you know very well that we've not taken anybody's job. You know. No, but I have you, my own opinion when it comes to that. But it's a topic. It's it's a different. It's a different topic. topic what but what I'm trying to say no, is, listen. why so don't you tell those people who are, who are going to uh-huh. rob, take away people people's money? Why don't you just say to them, listen? I know you grew up in a certain uh-huh. way. You are disadvantaged. And go look for a job. Go find from where find business or something. The church, the how, church how, must how create jobs. How are Ghanaians who are not South Africans mm-hmm. but they make it to South Africa mm-hmm. and try to to survive? Mm-hmm. Why our our South Africans? Because of they are the first people who got a, who have a privilege mm-hmm. in everything and access to everything. Okay. Why should they take from people who came in this country to work hard for whatever that they want and feel like they wanna contribute their money to churches? Because that's how they feel. They wanna take their money and give it to church. It fulfills them personally. And then someone just come and want to take it, and you're saying that it's not wrong. No, listen. I am saying, instead for South Africans to attack shops, they shouldn't attack at all. It, it can never stop in South Africa. Withdraw. It can never stop in South Achieve. Africa. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. It can never stop in South Africa. Robbery. It can never stop. They do it daytime. It's only in South Africa I noticed this one. Mm. They do robbery daytime, not night. Daytime, mm. like nine o'clock a.m. Because our system is not tight. Yes, at 9 a.m. Mm. Bank, they, they just stop the car mm. with a bomb. Boom! Mm. And everybody's face is not covered. They're like, hoo, 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 hoo. Daytime, you know? <laughs> so what I'm saying is, this is not news. I still stand by it. This is not news. True. It's not news. Yeah. They can meet you on the way with your phone. Mm-hmm. They will say, I, I want your phone. Mm. You just give him the phone. Mm-hmm. Add the charger, give him money to buy airtime. Mm-hmm. Maybe McDonald's. Yeah, add give McDonald's. Them the password of the phone. Give the password to the phone. Mm-hmm. Don't give them to my hustle. Everything. Mm-hmm. And after you hug him, say, see you, bro. I hope it will help you. Yeah, that's how it is. So this is no news. I I agree. I got all. Yes, yeah, this is no news. I, th- that's not what I'm saying. But listen, um, you. I'm saying the... I'm pissed off because the Ghana embassy. Is trying to make it this look uh, new and special. Mm. What is so special about this? There are Ghanaian shots being robbed day in and out. They go there with guns. Some they even kill them. They even choke them with knife. Chum chum chum. True. You know I'm speaking true, the truth. That's very true. That's why I said earlier, at least in that church, no one died. You understand? They yes. choke them with knife. Chum. Mm. They take your one rent, two rent. Chum 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 mm. chum. chum. Mm. That's true. Ghana Embassy know all this news. They should keep writing letters like that. Not the church. What are the church? Doing? All I'm asking you to do <laughs> is don't say they should go back to the church. I'm not saying they should go back. I'm saying they will go there again. It will happen again. It's not going to stop. It, it, will, not, it will never stop. And it's even it's a new trend that is coming. <laughs> and this is not a prophecy. This is reality. I'm telling you. The poor will go there for their money. So right now you you I'm just did I'm just telling these churches okay to understand they are all criminals. They should get bodyguards mm. to protect them because they are criminals. Okay. It's either that or people stay at home. Yes, it's that that or people will stay home because they will come again. It won't stop. They should just accept it that we are criminals, so please protect us. But obviously, even if okay now, if the the, 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 the whole plan is for the churches to get more security that's mm-hmm. more the criminals will gather together as well to have their own army of crime yeah then they, they do their own uh war that's the okay thing. how about now our churches they come with the system of no more cash but we use cards they also the arm robbers will bring machine you know we have a machine in south africa yes yeah. you buy yeah. whatever you want to buy then mm. you put your, your chip inside mm. 
and then you so the the arm robbers can go with the machine you put in your uh, visa card mm. you you put okay. the password oh, you, you check do. the balance and maybe you can leave you like 500 and you take the rest they can go with the machine So there's no solution. There's no solution. So we should stop giving our money to the church. Take it to the poor, the needy, the orphan, the widow. I've seen a lot of people on street in South Africa begging too much. The church can face this one. Even the churches, they can even tell this guy stripping on the street under the bridges. Okay? They can no, no. tell them that come and sleep at our church. What is it in for them? What is it in for them? Because for me this thing of people want to take from other people who works hard it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i think other things we just have to do them it will out never of our stop. goodness but we shouldn't do things because i'm a christian and i see someone who's homeless i have to prove myself or my my christianity by giving back to the community what if my heart wants to do it for the church that helps my spirituality or that supports my whatever thing that is going in my life that's where i find my comfort and that's where i want to give back instead of giving back to someone on the streets that i don't know how did they ended up there maybe they ended up there because of they were criminals as well and then they ended up not having a place to stay or maybe i'm that naughty girl who didn't want to be controlled at home i ended up on the streets but i want to give back to my church that's where i find my comfort and my peace okay. am i being a wrong person being at church and wanting to give to my church you are saying my 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 church my church my church you use the word my yeah you are talking about yourself yeah my my church my peace my spiritual being my my yes okay so when you go to your my my church my my spiritual my my whatever and i'm robbers come i'm am i part of your problem i'm not part of it's your, it's your it's you you want to take it to your church my church my pastor my spiritual my 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 And then the arm robbers come to you, your church, and then start shooting your church, killing your church. That does that concern me? That Actually, is that is your problem. But it's your problem, so you fix it. The only solution is get bodyguard at your churches, security bouncers at your churches. But you remember earlier on, you mentioned mm. the fact that you don't trust anyone because within those bodyguards. What if they will be working with the criminals at the end of the day because that's how our system works every time there's why. always someone who is a, what do they call this there's someone always inside That is why you must feed the sheep If you feed the sheep the sheep will never enter into any farm that does not belong to the shepherd to eat When the sheep is fed up with food he will stay in his yard So they should feed the sheep. If we see any pastor being exposed by members, by the bodyguard, by anybody who mm. is closer to the pastor, mm. it means transaction did not happen. Okay, noted. If transaction happens, <laughs> no expose. <laughs> <laughs> I I like that. <laughs> so for for your safety, you you have to be willing to pay. Pay. Let them understand. Let them enjoy. What I say? Let them enjoy, gotcha. and everything will be fine. Because I know in South Africa, crime rate you you know is very high. It's it's bad. And this is not the first time it's somebody bad. is being robbed. There was a serious mob, xenophobia, serious one, <sighs> serious one. People were burned, killed with knives. <sighs> That one please don't even mention it. Okay? So you see? The worst thing I've ever seen That's in my life. That's what I'm saying. So But this one is just 1% of the troubles. As we speak now, somebody is being robbed on the street as we speak now. Not just robbed, killed. Killed, for okay? For your phone you get killed for Yes, for your phone. Rand. 10 rand they can even kill you for 10 rand. Somebody can choke with the knife just for a pizza. Yeah. Or let's say uh, shawarma. That's true. Oh, you understand? Mm. This is what I'm talking about. So this is no news. The embassy should concentrate on Ghanaians doing their legit business in South Africa, being robbed day in and out. They should be writing letters to the consulate, to their partners. Okay. And then see how they can fix this. And tighten up the, the, the security. At least. 
They shouldn't concentrate on one church being robbed. So what what is it? How how will they do that? Because remember, Canaanians they don't stay in the same area. Because I think if if that was the case, where maybe Canaanians have their own area where they will be protected, they are everywhere. They are everywhere. Others they stay even in locations like in the hood. Mm-hmm. You understand, and that's where now the vultures are at. And now when I, you keep on saying. Yeah, churches they have to be there. They yeah. have they, they 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 have to go take from the churches, but that's not the case. And how will they maneuver this whole thing of protection? How where th- where are they gonna start? When the xenophobia started, did Ghanaians run to the embassy? No. Did the embassy accepted Ghanaians to sleep in the embassy? No. That's sad. <laughs> Listen to what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this is not news to me. I don't care. You understand? Mm-hmm. It's not about the church. It's not about that building that happened, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's about us. It can even happen to me. Yeah, of course. It's easy. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. It's very easy. Mm-hmm. So they should write letters to protect Ghanaians, mm-hmm. not a specific. How are they gonna maneuver that? Fine, writing letters, I understand. In this after letter, letter, in this letter, you see after what? After a letter, there should be an action. You see this letter? Mm-hmm. They said. We are working with the police and they did the then 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 who doesn't know what happens with South African police or uh-huh. our government. Okay. Say. So so it means the letter is even lying. They, uh-huh. You cannot speak. Okay. Understand. No, I can. Okay. I so. can. It's just that I want to be very careful with my words. Okay. You understand? Because uh-huh. I as a South African, as someone who has experienced many things, I've lost hope. As much as you, you don't believe in churches and all, I don't believe in my government or my police. I don't even think that, as you said, that even the police would can just come after the income. People don't okay. understand what I said about um, the attack on the church, okay, on the, I mean, that Pentecost thing. Okay. What I'm saying is, it's like you are living in Zongo. Do you know what is Zongo? You no. are living in a Muslim community. Okay. It's easy to to see a knife. Mm. It's easy. You see a knife by all means, even if it's not to kill somebody, to kill an animal. Mm-hmm. Knife is easy. Mm. You are living in South Africa. You know crime rate in South Africa. You know already. Even if they they have food or not, they don't care. Yes. When you are walking now. Mm. And you see two people coming closer to you. you. Will you change your route or you go straight? I change my route all okay. the time. I hide my <laughs> assets, even my phone. <laughs> I'm speaking practical, you know. Practical. Fact. I'm not speaking the uh, theory. I'm speaking it's, it's, practical. It's it's, 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 rea- it's reality of South Africa. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And even if you <laughs> driving and passing by, even in the middle of the night, you see a woman with a child. You don't even stop your car okay. because of so, so you know this is be sad. this is the country we are living in. Of course. So you know what can happen. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> you know what can happen. But not a church. You understand? No, what is not that church? Mm. Is there is there not uh, the same uh, Ghanaians on the street in the church? The same people. The police can see you with a criminal, maybe with a knife. Mm. The police will go. Mm, and come go back and come them. back after you've been mm. beaten big time, beaten big big one, and they will so say, "Are ah, you agree. okay? You good? You no, good, bro?" Listen, this is that that's where we agree, me and you now, when we talk about police, because of that letter <laughs> said they be yeah, working, working hand in police. hand with no, no, police, no, no, no. the very same police that we know what they're capable of in um, in my country. So how I I keep I, I'm gonna ask again, how do you really think they will maneuver the safety of Ghanaians, not churches only, but <laughs> Ghanaians. That is While their problem. we know that even our system in South Africa, it doesn't. So you see, we have a good system in Ghana. Too much. Our Ghana police is working too much. But then maybe even here in South Africa, you have to own. You have to start need to, having they, your own association. They need to come to Ghana and learn from uh, our no, our IGP Dampa is working in, too in good. In South Africa, Ghanaians has to start their own association where they know that they will protect each other within themselves, not trusting the South African system. Mm-hmm. So now. The solution to all this, okay? Mm. One, the pastor has no power. Number two, the pastor cannot call Jesus' name to to freeze anybody. Mm. Number two. Number three, the church has too much money. Mm -hmm. Number four, they should understand they are criminals. Mm -hmm. Number five, they should know that criminals will come after criminals. Okay. Number six, they should get protection for all the church members. 
Mm. They should get bodyguards to guide the door, mm. the puppet, the mm. collection bowl with guns holding them in the church. Mm. Because when it happens, nobody is going to vanish. It's going to be war. They should get protection mm-hmm. for everybody in that church. Okay. That is the only solution. Because we cannot stop going to churches. That is the that only solution. Work. You see that advice of stay at home, it won't work. That is the only solution. If you want to go to church, go to a church with the securities. Maybe somebody with a bulletproof or something. <laughs> go to that church. If you want to go, <laughs> that is your problem. But go to such churches with the with the with the security bombs, you know, holding <laughs> them. And then as as church members we have to have bulletproof. Bulletproof. As well. Yeah. When you enter the church, they <laughs> give you bulletproof. After church, you take the bulletproof back. This what because nothing is going to protect you. Nothing. <laughs> This is the fact. Nothing is going to protect you. You understand? Nothing will protect you. You get my point. Kanti, I'm happened? talking about South Africa. I'm not talking about <laughs> Ghana. You see, Kanti, the, Kanti, what happened to? We are protected by the blood of God. No, no, no. We uh, are protected by in whatever. South Africa. It will not work. Let's say. In this place, the blood of God will not work here. This is a jungle, you don't know. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this place, forget about the, the blood of should, whatever. But we Get should stop making proof. it as, as a norm. You kept on saying, in South Africa, it's normal. What's normal? But it's normal. Like? You know it's normal. I'm it's not telling not the I'm not, I'm not lying. It's normal, you know. <sighs> Three people can just wake up one day. Mm-hmm. Eh? Mm-hmm. Just wake up one day. Mm-hmm. And say, we want to burn this, uh, let's say, foreigner mm-hmm. uh, shop. Yeah, you will get you will get a lot of people. That's true. Within That's two true. seconds. Because even myself, when I was looking at that video, part of me was this thing that now my fellow South Africans they already opened a leeway for people to go and make crimes yeah. to our Africans because of they keep on mentioning we want them out of this country, uh-huh. but you don't come with facts that there are people who are making an honest living here who are here they legally. Don't care. They don't but care. now, if this is part of the thing that those criminals went to a Canadian church because of they are told that we mm-hmm. need to get rid. And, get and what what you saying? People. Did they say it on? Uh, I mean, in the house, they say no, it in no, the no, national, national television. National television. Of yes, every, they want uh, Africans out or foreigners out of their land. Yeah. Yes, on the um, national television. Yeah. So you know the story. I do. I am not supposed to be telling you to protect yourself. You no, know. I do. No, we all know. So the we church must know this and get security for the members. Case closed. Because it's on national television. They want you out already. And now they've seen that they, when they come to church, they will get money. I said they will come. But people will think I'm just advising people to go and, there. And, and now the saddest they will part, come. The saddest part, the, 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 this embassy, they will go to the South African police and say we need protection. The very same system that says... Uh, people who are not from South Africa, they should go. They should go. How said, are you gonna get help from there? They should get just security for the members in South Africa. I'm not talking about Ghana. Mm. Ghana is not like this. Mm. I'm talking about South Africa. Mm. Ghanaians in South Africa. If you want to open your church in South Africa, mm. now the new trend, they will come and take your money from the church. That is the straight, honest truth. I'm telling you, they will come. So if you don't want to be harmed, get security. In your church, or stay at home, or stay at home. Case close. <laughs> yes. Sir. Apart from that, there's nothing we can do. I hear you. Listen to this.
Okay, Slain. So, what's your last word? Advice to your fellow South Africans and to the church in general. Okay. I, I cannot uh, emphasize enough that um, before you see a color, I always say it, before you see a color, you see um, the, the, the gender and everything, acknowledge a human being. And um, my fellow brothers and sisters, South Africans, they should just know that in life for you to be okay, work for your things. Stop taking from other people and trying to blame whoever who's on, who's on your way. Because the very same people that we're blaming today that we have a high rate of crime in South Africa, um, it's because of those people they know, they dedicated, they, 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 they know what they want in life. We cannot every time when our things go wrong, we want to blame other people. So acknowledge a human being before the color, before the race, before the, the, the tribe and everything. Acknowledge a human being and go do better for your life because your life is in your hand. You are capable and you are responsible for your life. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, thank you. Uh, this was a nice conversation with a South African, Kusa lady from um, South Africa. Mm -hmm. Slendly. Yes, sir. I'm speaking to my guys. Okay. Maybe they meet me. I can say. So most of my answer was South African. Dia. The car me me di me ni be aya me be home yeno. So you grow no. So boni airport correct trim no. Eni so you grow no so. Boni we meet trim bruta. So I was saying, we meet here so roha. Now we invest security in two and one. BBC be ba bonti anopa area enumere. Yeshi a kwa na yebo. Aji o bag no. Mais police be do un chain etchum. Ako. Asa baba busa sa o mwe de eye sa anity. Ubiti me shiao le seki awo yem ajo wangana ako te di anye di me kano kurachro. Ubiti me shiao u fun keke e ukrao. Eh, ubiti me kasefa fun a mano. U ye ga gaya obe wo sekai. Tu de fun a mano na do chaja kano. So obe to credit a kan wan wa twa kano. Ube kofi na be twa wata kano. Aye sanity. Inti muntia se as will be o a ye if ya see especially South Africa and the muntia se mum when yamusa mumu ya original mu yina mu yaza. Mun pe security and two a danano. Na embo mun call for no mumho bain. Se de be ya e bin sensi bi me be sensi. E ya do mbeba. O ma startin is in a ye trend or mobile fulu, sal on bay no. O me an ope we nyu mreba canchen and call for no. Se che mamma ko jack minya si kasi you. Ali chong me saan kube saan omu beye. E wo omu ni usumu dada. Se tu ntu mfo ono ya e free e mbu bie mfri ya mko. Omu oka hongwa sem dada. Intu mbe yusu wei e di e jina soe di saan semo ni ni mi bri. Inti zo we. Nas wo so be sun nyamia na beye church church service. E wo e ye si kuru wu mu diya. Kopo security. Neva bo ono nko ofo hongwa bain. E ye case close. Mi da se. Mi di di e kona ba. E be saan suwe shia da se ne. Ya Michel Munira. O be shelo, ibasa. Key principles biya. O mo de bobra. Na. O mo yesa.
Thank you. 